Sure. I'm Chief Robert Connor, um, C-O-N-N-O-R, and I'm the Chief of Professional Standards for the Sheriff's Office. Awesome. Well, let's start off with the need here. Um, what is full, full staff and um, how many officers do you guys uh, want to hire? Right. So our full staffing is 1,603 police officers, 705, 785 correctional officers, about 650 civilian positions is full staffing for our agency. Um, as far as hiring, you know, hiring is a very fluid thing. You know, we try to forecast and we look at and we know some of the positions that we're going to lose through our drop program. We're anticipating during the next 12 months and hiring around 100 police officers and around an equal number of correctional officers. But again, that's kind of a fluid number um, that can go up or go down based on you know a wide variety of um, circumstances. And that is within a, um, a certain period of time? Over the next year. Year. A hundred officers, can I, is that fair to say? Give or take. Give or take a hundred yeah. officers within the next year. Yes. Um, what are some of, the, some of the things that you guys are looking for in an officer? You know, we live in a time where there's all sorts of different types of crime happening. So right. what are you looking for in an officer? Right. You know, we, it, that's one of the challenges that we face. Because what we do is we do look at those numbers that we were just talking about and we try to forecast how many people do we need to hire. And then it becomes incumbent upon us, and particularly my unit, the recruiting unit, to go out and make sure we're selecting that absolute best candidate. That we're getting men and women who really are looking beyond, they're not looking for a paycheck, they're looking for being a part of something bigger. So we have educational requirements, we have psychological requirements, we have, um, we have physical requirements that they have to meet. And, but most of all, it's character. That's the number one thing that we really strive to get here, is men and women, women of character who want to come in, want to serve their community. Yeah. Um, how have you guys functioned without those 100 officers that you need? Right. And really, it's a hundred and it, since with the budget issues from a few years ago that are continuing, we're really 148 police officers short. That 1,603 number is 148 fewer than what we had several years ago. So, it, and it's a challenge. But the advantage that we have is from the top down, from the sheriff to the staff to our mid-level managers to our supervisors, supervisors on the street. We're committed to doing the most we can with the resources that we have. So being innovative, making sure that how we have our officers deployed, how we have our detectives deployed, all those things is as effective as it can be. And then also, the men and women on the street, our officers have really stepped up. They've really stepped up to do more with less. They've stepped up to meet that challenge, and it's resulted in num crime numbers that are, are as low as they've been in 40 years. But it is a challenge. It is a real challenge with the violent crime and especially murder in the last few years. What would you do, you know, when you have the full staff? Um, what would you do with those officers? Would they go to a special crime unit? Would they uh, all go to patrol? Right. Um, if, if we were fully staffed again, there would be a variety of units that, that would be enhanced that would be made full. Of course, the majority of them probably would go to patrol, but our goal, again, would be in using them as effectively as possible and continuing to drive those numbers down. You know, I mentioned um, earlier that the crime numbers had reached a 40-year low, and the sheriff's been very clear about that. We're happy that those numbers have, have continued to go down, but those numbers will never be acceptable because really any crime is unacceptable. So that would be the goal with bringing in additional staffing would be to put them in a position where we can continue to drive crime down in Jackson. I think people at home, I guess their main concern or their main question would be, um, am I safer? Would this make me safer with more people, more officers? You know, it, I mean, inherently, if you're driving crime numbers down, then someone's not being victimized. So that person is safer. You know, one of the things that, that we want to um, ensure is that while crime may be low, we want people to feel that crime is low. You know, we want them to have that sense of safety in their home. And that more officers may actually help them feel like that? Yes. Um, and some incentives. 
for people at home that may right. be like, you know, I'm interested in this. Sure, and and um, there are a lot of them. You know, working for the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office means that you're working for an agency is that is one of the most well respected around the nation. Um, that is one of the best managed agencies around the nation as well. You know, you can also come into our agency and the door is wide open once you get here um, as far as what you do throughout your career. You know, you can become an investigator, you can be a marine officer, you can fly a helicopter, you can have a, uh, a canine. Through um, most of our positions, not only police, not only corrections, but in our civilian positions, which are very important to us, um, you have the chance to advance, to move up in the supervisory role. So there's a, there is a lot that you can do within the agency once you get here. It's not just a career where you're going to come and you're going to start out doing one thing, and you're going to do that for your entire career. But you know, really, the best thing that we have going for us in hiring is that in our community and in our nation, we still have people that want to make that difference, you know, that want to be a part, again, of something bigger than themselves. We have people that really want to come in and at the end of a 25 or a 30 year career, they want to look back and say, you know, I'm really proud that I was able to be a part of an organization that made our community better. So that's really what we have going for us. Uh, are you allowed to talk about pay scale, like what the starting pay is sure. for an officer? Sure, absolutely. Our police officers start around $29,000 a year. Um, we pay for their academy training. Um, and they're hired, and there is, you know, there's been pay progression throughout their career. Um, our correctional officers start, um, I'm sorry, I said that wrong. Our police officers start at $36,000 a year. Our correctional officers start at $29,000 a year. And again, we pay for their, um, we pay for their education, for their, uh, for their academy time, and there's chance for growth for both of yes, them. Yes, absolutely. And again, my last question, just to drive home for the public, um, you know, they may get the idea of, you know, they're down, they're, they're down officers. Well, maybe that's why we see some of the crime that we see. What do you want them to really remember uh, when they hear that you guys are down, you know, 100 right. or so officers? Right. Well, what I would want them to remember is that it's important. You know, it's important that we are fully staffed. Um, the sheriffs work very hard to to make sure in these very difficult budget times we work very hard with the city council and with the mayor to make sure that, that we get the staffing that we need and that's an ongoing challenge. Um, but I want them to understand that despite those challenges, this agency is doing absolutely everything possible to make sure that they live in a safe community.